There is some boys and girls in this video I will show you how to edit like Magnus Media in Premiere Pro. So first create a new sequence, horizontal 9020, vertical 1080. Now I'm going to add a green screen video into the timeline. You can download this video from the link in the description. Place this video layer on top and add color mat. Go to new item, color mat, change color to yellow. Go to effects and add ultra key to this green screen video. Under effect control, select this color picker and select this green color. Let me add a Mr. Beast image into the timeline. Adjust scale and position. Place it at bottom. Let me place this image over here. Using type tool, I am going to add a test. Change fill color to pink. Adjust scale and position. Create a copy of this test layer by holding Alt key or Option key on keyboard. Set keyframe for position and go a few frames forward and adjust it to the right. Do the same for the second test also. Make the second test follow the first test as you seen in this video. I create another copy of this test and set keyframe for position and adjust keyframes. Nest these three test layers. Create a copy of this nest test layer. Position down. Right click, speed duration, check reverse speed. Create another copy of this reverse test layer in a sequence. Let me add a grunge video overlay in here. Go to effect controls and opacity, change the blend mode to screen. Now I'm going to add a half tone image in top of this grunge video overlay. Change the blend mode to soft light. Add the Mr. Beast image over here. Go to effects and add tint. Again go to effects and add brightness slash contrast. Increase the brightness and contrast a little bit. Set keyframe position and scale. Position down and increase scale size. Go few frames forward and position up. Reduce the scale size a little bit. Go to effects and add drop shadow to the Mr. Beast image. Add this opacity and softness. Now select this rectangle shape tool and create a rectangle shape like this. Under shape. Select this rectangle mask and create a mask like this. Place it all the way down. Change fill color to black. Increase the mask further to 400. Set keyframe for position and place it down. Go a few frames forward and position up. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Fill color to white and stroke color to black. Adjust scale and position. Set keyframe for position and place the test all the way to the left. Go a few frames forward and place the position to the right. Do the same for the second test. Go to new item and add additional layer. Place it on top. Go to effects and add Gaussian blur to the additional layer. And a Gaussian blur, select the ellipse tool. Create a mask like this. Check inverted and increase mask furtherness. Increase blurriness to 8%. Now I'm going to add a Mr. Beast video over here. Increase scale size little and set keyframe for position and scale. 
go few friends over and decrease the scale size and adjust the position. Let me select all these layers and instead place this video over here. Then I'm going to add some image into the timeline. One image go from left to right and middle image go from bottom to top and left image go from left to right. All I did was set keyframe position and adjust it accordingly. Let me select these three images and video and place it on top. Go to new item and add black video. Place it over here. Select the video and decrease the opacity. Now I'm going to add a video overlay over here. Change blend mode to soft light and decrease opacity to 6. Now this is the one way or another way to do is delete this black video. Select the video and change opacity to 100. Go to rectangle shape tool and create a rectangle shape like this. Fill black and stroke none. Under shape, set a rectangle shape tool and create a rectangle shape like this. Check inverted. Increase the value of mask further. I will set a keyframe for mask opacity. Change to zero. Place the playhead where those three images show up. Increase the mask opacity to 100. Delete the unwanted portions and nest these layers. For the third scene, I add a Mr. Beast image and screenshot of Mr. Beast's YouTube channel. Increase the scale size of Mr. Beast's screenshot image. Set keyframe for position and position up. Go few frames forward and position down. Also, adjust position and scale size of Mr. Beast's image. Go to effects and add brightness and contrast to Mr. Beast's image. Again, go to effects and add Gaussian blur to the screenshot image. Adjust blurriness. Now I'm going to add a green screen video of fire overlay. I add ultra key. Create multiple copies of this video. Go to UFX and add tint. Change map black to violet and map white to pink. Let me add another green screen video of money counting overlay. Add ultra key. Add tint. Change map black to and map white to yellow. Create a copy of this video and place these two videos like this. Select all these layers and nest it. Now I'm going to place this playhead over here where the end of the second scene. Set keyframe for position. Go few frames forward and position up. Now go to third scene in a sequence. Set keyframe for position. Go few frames forward as the position like this. Now I'm going to add some Mr. Beast images. Add an adjustment layer on top. Go 
go to effects and add lumetri color go to vignette and decrease the amount value to minus 3.5 Now I am going to add a video overlay over here. Add money image. Set keyframe for position. Go keyframes over the position to the left. Create a copy of this money image and add keyframes for position. Make the money follow the first money. So I just animated these four money images. Nest these images. Create two copies of the nest sequence. Right click, speed duration, check reverse speed. Now I'm going to nest these three in a sequence. Create a copy of this in a sequence, place it over here. Create another copy and place it over here. Now go to effects and add tint. Change map black to violet and map white to blue. Add Mr. Beast logo into the timeline. Add a video overlay on top. Change blend mode to soft light. Go to effects and add brightness slash contrast to the Mr. Beast logo. Increase brightness. Let me add additional layer over here. Go to effects and add Gaussian blur. Increase blurriness a little bit. Delete the unwanted portions. Now I'm going to add a paper test story video over here. Let me add a Google web page image over here. Also, I'm going to add a Mr. Beast video over here. Adjust position and scale. Go to effects and add drop shadow. Adjust softness and opacity. Let me add some subtitles. Select type tool and add some test. Place these glare lines like this. Select the test and set keyframe for scale. Change to zero. Go few frames forward and increase the scale size. Next, all these layers. Set keyframe for scale. Go a few frames over and increase scale size. Yeah, and that's it, ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos, and I will see you on my next video.